Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. It is Samoyed Sunday today and uh, to be honest, I had a very different video planned. I had planned on telling you all about some paw grooming, however, Denver has decided, despite being about 78 degrees last week, that this entire weekend it would snow like crazy. So, welcome spring. And because the girls love the snow so much, I just took them for a walk out in the snow in the path right behind my apartment building. And of course, they come back super dirty, which leads right into one of the most asked questions on both here on YouTube and on their Instagram, and that is if my dogs are allowed on the furniture, as you can see they most definitely are, how do I keep my furniture clean? So I thought I'd show you a few tips and tricks to make sure that your furniture stays relatively clean, or pretty much as clean as it could be if you're going to have a dog on it. Because Samoyeds are such clean dogs, yes they have a lot of fur, yes they require a lot of grooming, but their hair actually stays really clean. One of the quotes I've heard quite often is Moids will go to sleep dirty and wake up clean. And that's just because as soon as their hair dries, all of that dirt and stuff is just gonna fall off. But even though Samoyeds are clean dogs, I do have to work a little bit to make sure that my apartment doesn't look like a pigsty. But first, after taking them for a walk and they're nice and dirty and wet and all of that fun stuff, I'll have them wait outside so they give themselves a little shake. Most dogs, if they are dirty or wet, they're going to shake as much as they can to get that off. And if they need a little help, you can always do a little blow in their nose that makes them tickle and it will shake a lot of that off. Next, I keep two different types of towels near the Door. The main one is just for their paws, but this is a microfiber towel. And the reason I like microfiber is just it's going to take all of that wetness, all of that dirt. It's just going to really be great for grabbing onto it. And this one is just specifically for the dogs because it will get covered in fur and dirt and all of that. But I use this to wipe down their paws so they don't get the floor dirty when they come in. The girls know, because I've trained them to do so, that once they come in, they're supposed to sit down next to the door. And the way you do that is, especially with girls with harnesses, if you take them off to let them inside, that every time they come in the door, you have them wait, and once they do understand that waiting, they get a treat at the door. So my girls, as soon as they walk in, they walk in, they sit down, and they wait for a treat. And that way, while they're waiting there, you can wipe them down with your microfiber towel, or if they're really, really wet, you can get one, what I, what I call a dog towel. And so it's a bath sides towel, and I just rub them down. So that way, immediately, you know that you're going to get a lot of that grime off your dog. Second is another little training tip, but my girls are allowed on the furniture, but they also know that they're not supposed to get up unless invited. And of course, that doesn't work 100% of the time. They'll jump on the back of the couch so they can be at face level, or if they're super tired, they'll get on the couch and fall asleep. But for the most part, they won't hop on unless invited. So essentially the way that works is all you have to do is when you're on the couch and you invite them up, they get a treat. However, if they get on the couch when you're not there or you haven't allowed it, you make sure to tell them that's not allowed and point them towards their own bed or somewhere they'd like to lie down instead. So go lie down versus come up on the couch. And with any command, practice makes perfect. And while my dogs aren't perfect, for the most part, they know that if they're wet, they do not get on the couch because I did not invite them to. But yes, your dog will still have accidents and your couches will get dirty just because dogs are dirty beings just like us humans. So I do lots of laundry. And I know that doesn't sound like a tip or trick, but I have multiple sets of sheets, so if I get some muddy paw prints on my bed, those are going to be chucked in the laundry, and I have another one to use. And the same thing goes with my couch. If my couch is super dirty, I will either let it sit out in the sun and dry off and rub off some of those dog spots with microfiber towel and some couch cleaner, or I can take it to go get dry cleaned if it's gotten really bad. But all of my couch cushions, they have covers that zip off. When I first got this couch, it was white and that did not last very long. So I did go out and I upgraded. So even if it gets a little dirty, it's not gonna show that badly. So short rundown. One, make sure they shake before coming inside. Two, use a microfiber towel on their paws 
or a big towel on their body. Three, train them to make sure that they know that they are not allowed on the furniture unless you let them up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe down below. Do you have any tips or tricks that keep your house clean when your dogs have been out being crazy in the snow or the rain or the mud? If so, let me know down in the comments below. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or evening wherever you are. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey, girls. You going for a walk? Spring in Colorado, flowers and snow. What do you think, Miko? Think about what's over here. Look what you find. Miko. The last few questions are all about training. I see a lot of you have gotten new puppies recently, which is so exciting and have so much fun with that. But we'll start out with tips for bringing your